Hey everybody, welcome back to Rusty Guns. So today's video, we're going to talk about bullet pullers. Okay, uh, this type of uh, bullet puller is just the hammer style that you uh, can use. Uh, there's other different ones out there, uh, but this is a very common one, and these are very simple and easy to use. Um, so it'll basically come like this, has a little end cap that screws on there, and then it'll have several of these like little collets. Like this. Uh, typically there's three of them in there some some may have more but this one had three different ones so for different calibers um, and to show you how this works uh, we're just going to be using this uh, 223 round that the bullet knows the bullet is actually pushed back up in the casing a little bit so we need to remove that and so that we can still use this casing and the bullet uh, and that's basically what bullet pullers are full uh, what bullet pullers are full for uh, you know if you make a mistake while reloading uh, and you need to pull that bullet uh, this is how you do it so anyway top piece will go on like this uh, I usually just go ahead and begin screwing that down a little bit and you're gonna shove the bullet down in there and let it let that collet lock around the ring on the on the shell casing. I'm gonna crank it down nice and tight, and we're gonna find a piece of wood. It's just something nice and hard to smack this down on, and we're just gonna give it a good solid thump. That one is in there nice and tight. That one does not want to come out. Oh, we're moving it. So you guys saw the bullet before. And now you can see it now, how it's worked itself out. So a couple more good thumps, and that bullet will pop right out of there. And this way you're not actually hitting the primer, so there's no way for this to go off. So that's why they're like this. So a couple more hits. No, it's not out yet. There it goes. I just heard it. So, let's see if you guys, I don't know if you guys can see it down in there, but you can hear it. So, go ahead and loosen that. And now you can see that the bullet is now gone out of that. There's no powder. All the powder and the bullet will be in here, capped off. If you're wanting to save that, just find a little container to put it in. If you're not too concerned about saving it, just simply dump it out. That was a lot of powder. Now we have our bullet back out, we have our casing, we've got our powder here. Just to show you guys how much powder is in a typical 223 casing. There you go. Yes, it is highly flammable, so please do not do this if you are smoking at the time or around any kind of open flame, anything that could ignite it, basically, don't do this around it. All right, let me set this off to the side real quick. So this one, you know, of course, was a little bit harder to get out because that bullet had been wedged down inside the casing pretty deep. So took a few, took a lot more hits than it normally does. Normally, you know, two, three good whacks and the bullet will pop right out um, but you know if that if that bullet gets lodged down in there like this one did you know it's takes a little bit more effort but anyway that's it simple easy tool that if you're going to do any kind of reloading or you know you have any instance at all where you need to pull a bullet from a shell casing this is one of the easiest and safest methods to use. Um, 
you know, trying to do that with a pair of pliers or something, don't do it. That, that's just, you're just asking for trouble. Just simply go buy a bullet puller. They they don't cost very much, you know, and you, probably anywhere from 10 to $20 you can, you can get these. So inexpensive, easy tool to use. All right, thanks a lot for joining me, guys. Take care. I'll see you next time.